All right, today I've got a super exciting video for you. At least it's super exciting to me. It's how you can bind the text span to the CMS, to a CMS field. And this is something that I've really needed for a long time, particularly for my own needs, but also for my clients' needs as well. Anytime I'm building a landing page for them, for their CMS collection, a lot of times they want to have an easy way just to insert their keyword throughout the landing page. And, and for the longest time, we were not able to combine or we were not able to bind a text field or a text span, excuse me, to a text field in the CMS. But with a new custom element, you can do that. And What really got me thinking is I, as I got the email, just like many of you probably did, I went to this page, which doesn't really have a whole lot on it. But one of the things that I noticed is this pro tip right here where it says you can add a custom element to a collection field, to a collection list or a component. Then you can bind the custom element to CMS fields, custom attributes, tags and text. And it really got me thinking, especially as I've been redesigning my own website and so we'll talk about more more about that in another video but but this is one of the location pages that i have created i had it on my other website but then i thought you know i really want to do this in the cms is going to make life easier for me and as i started looking and thinking about well how i'm going to get my keywords into the page that email came through talking about the custom element i read that pro tip and i thought whoa maybe i can bind the text span to the CMS and indeed I actually can. So right here you see Dallas, Texas, this is a text span. Dallas right here, this is a text span. As you work through, you know, this particular site, Dallas, Texas right here, you know, this is a text span. So if we hop over into my project, I'll show you right here. I have, you know, put in here a paragraph, a little well, custom element. I've tagged it as a paragraph and then I have created a text span here that I have bound to the CMS. I've done the same thing right here, web design, and then Arlington is going to be my keyword for this particular one. So Arlington, Arlington, Texas, Arlington, Texas, you know, uh, out like this. These are all my keywords. And so let me just show you how easy this is to do. So we're going to put a custom element just right here on the page. It comes stock as a div. I'm going to change the tag so that it's a paragraph. And all I'm going to do is pop in here. Let's see if it will not kill that. Uh, and then I'm going to go back to where was that custom element at? Right, right here. Okay, so after I've created the tag, make it a paragraph. Right here, you have over. You can add in the text. So I'm just going to take that text that I copied. And you notice inside of this text, it's copied everything except for this particular text band. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm just going to type the word location. So I know that this is the location where I want to put that. And then all I need to do is actually click into the paragraph, highlight the text that I want to create as a text band, just like you normally would. Click wrap with text band. Now you can style this, you can do whatever you want. But what I'm actually after is binding this. And so right here, inner text settings. And you click on this. And I have all of these things that I can actually bind it to. And so I'm going to bind it to this plain text field um, labeled um, city and state abbreviated. And boom, there you go, Arlington, Texas. You can do this with headings. You can do this with paragraphs. You can do this all throughout your your landing pages that are you're creating that are being driven by the CMS, which is going to give you a lot of power in order to create SEO optimized landing pages very quickly, very fast, without having to use some sort of workaround or have two H1s or H2s sitting right next to each other on the page to accomplish this. This is the easiest way to create SEO optimized landing pages and it's finally, finally here. If you like this video, if you got value out of this video, would you consider liking and subscribing uh, to this channel? I'll be coming out with more videos soon that are going to highlight some of the different uh, ways in which I redesigned and rebuilt my website. And so I'll see you on those videos.